Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Today we're taking another look at a huge Jazzware vehicle and all the footage today was provided by Halo Collector. This is the Banished Shade Turret and this was first seen in the campaign gameplay for Halo Infinite. I just can't believe how good it looks in person and the amount of awesome design choices that went into this. So. Let's break this open and check it out. Once again, Kevin Hurd at Halo Collector is providing this footage, just showing off all these amazing World of Halo Jazzware toys. And the packaging, also really sleek, UNSC green, very nice indeed. I would have liked it to be a banished color scheme for the packaging, but never mind. We're breaking it open and we can see the grunt in all its beautiful detail there and the main turret itself. And this turret, it reminds me a lot of the ghost that we got recently or last year with Jazzware. There's a lot of detail here. You can see silver scratch marks all over the red and a load of other colors running through it as well. There's a lot of articulation on this thing and it builds, it goes together just very nicely, very smoothly. And there's a lot of really cool translucent pieces. It snaps into the base nicely there and can rotate 360 degrees. I love the little blue piece at the bottom. And yeah, snap it all together. These rings run all the way around, sort of a soft, hard plastic, just nice and malleable and they insert into two little holes that sort of loop it all together. Look how nice that looks. Look how polished it looks. The translucent sides and this piece on the top, they slot in really professionally, and the whole thing, it just feels like one piece, if you ask me. Like, it's, it, it fits together like a dream, honestly. Exceptionally well designed. The engineers at the company, Jazzware, they are doing such an amazing job. And it just gets me so excited about what's coming next. We've got articulation on those guns there running up and down. And it's really nice how the translucent pieces run with it. And then we've got this grunt as well. This assault grunt. It's the new Halo Infinite design and it matches perfectly to ones we've got in Mega Constructs before. And this thing, it really does have a lot of detail. Let's take a closer look. That beautiful banished red, you know, I'm a huge fan of that. I would have liked some more details on his face mask, but there are nice light and dark gray underlinings across his body. And the dark brown skin tone is pretty cool. It looks like there's some washes in there and some silver dry brushing on his body as well. Really is an exceptional figure and I'm looking forward to comparing it directly to the Mega Constructs. But the Shade Turret is the real star of this show. Let me tell you, this thing, it's so beautiful. Also, we've got this plasma pistol comes with the grunt. Very, very detailed for the price. And this thing, the grunt takes a minute to get in, as you'll see from the footage. But once he's inside, he holds on to the turret perfectly, and he really is built for it. I would like to see how other figures, like a Brute or an Elite, fit in here. Only time will tell on that, but this grunt is perfect to be operating this turret. And really, this opens the door for so many things with Jazzware toys. I am ecstatic about the future of this line. I think it is the thing we should be supporting right now. Buy as much of this as possible and tell Jazzware we want more of these sets. We want more display pieces. We want to make huge battles, huge dioramas with Jazzware World of Halo. I want to give a huge shout out to Halo Collector. They are the ones that provided the footage for this. And tomorrow we're also going to be reviewing the Gun Goose from Jazzware as well. And if you want to check out the number one place for Halo collecting on the internet, go to facebook.com slash Halo Collector. Thanks so much for the support, guys, and we'll see you next time.